The most interesting thing about King Charles I is that he was five foot six inches tall at the start of his reign, but only four foot eight inches tall at the end of it. I am going to present a remarkable painting of Charles I. It was from the house of the Stuarts. He was the King of England, Scotland and Ireland. This man who lived 48 years was married to a French princess. Charles I believed in divine right of kings, which entailed a kind of war with the Parliament of England, whose politicians wanted a constitutional monarchy. Anthony van Dyck is the man to whom the painting was commissioned. He painted the king in an unusual way. Charles Charles I is represented in nature with his servants, which depicts the superiority of the king. But the most important aspect of this painting is how Anthony van Dyck painting the king like was message. So he painted, he painted him as a powerful person who is above everything. The detail which shows us his superiority is his hand. His hand is painted above nature, actually his, actually his hand is in the sky as God is. This, painted was, this painting was commended to prove his divine rights as a king. He wanted to show that he was above everything, nature like humans being. According to him he was king because God wanted him to be. So he deserved his divine rights and that's why he's compared to God. This painted... This painting was painted to stop the Parliament of England, but it didn't work because it was executed in 1649. Charles was sentenced to death, even though he refused to accept that the court had jurisdiction. Say goodbye to his head. My name is, my name is, my name is Charles II. The painting I'm going to deal with is the portrait of Charles II, King of Great Britain, in 1630 to 1685. Painted by John Michael Wright in 1670, this painting was a royal commission. Charles II is dressed in parliament robes over the order of the quarter costume, wearing the crown of state, the sword of state, and holding the new orb and spectre made for his coronation. These elements belong to regalia because it's royal object. In 1630, Charles II is, procla is proclaimed King of Great Britain and he succeeds to his father Charles I. His father has been beheaded during the Civil War. In this way, Charles II is the resultation king. So, the authority of the absolute monarchy needs to be confirmed. Even if this tragic period, Charles II offer, uh, offered an indemnity to Zeus who had committing, committed crimes against the crown during the civil war and interregnum. An interregnum is the period of time between the reign of one monarch and the second. This painting confirms the power of English monarchy. This particular context needs to legitimize authority. This, pa this painting embodies a particular conception of monarchy as divine, spiritual, sacred and of course of resist. My name is Charles II. I love the people and the people love me so much that they restored the English monarchy. I'm part Scottish, French, Italian, a little bit Dane, but 100% party animal. Champagne! Spaniels I adored, named after me too. Like me, they were fun with the natty hairdo. It's today my birthday, I can't recall. Let's have a party anyway, because I love a basketball.